Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here and welcome back to some Ruby Visual Novel with me and this is episode 30 which yeah I'm quite surprised I didn't think the series would be this long um so I'm quite surprised we've actually gotten here but yeah so I've just been rattling through these I've been really enjoying this game and yeah I think it's because of that I've ended up just playing it for so bloody long and I've been enjoying it so long because I could have done one or two episodes of this. I would prefer it's Ruby. So honestly, if anything Ruby, I could say like, oh, I might have done one or two episodes and then we might never continued it. But no, it's Ruby, so I probably would have. But like, even then, I, could, I never would have guessed the game was going to be this long. It was going to have this much in it. Like, some of these episodes have been really long. Like, some of them have been nearly, like, been 50, 40, 50 odd minutes long. And I suppose it's just a casual video for me, isn't it? It's not really that long for one of my videos. But still... Uh, and the bit been long, it's been so full of plot, there's been so many twists and turns and stuff going on, we still don't fully understand what's going on at all. And we're, and it doesn't look like we're, like, anywhere near fully done, but, like, I don't know if we're getting, like, from what people are saying, we're, we're maybe getting a bit closer to, like, the end of game development so far, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see about that one. But, yeah, so, uh, last time, well, last time I recorded, like, an hour-odd episode and split it into two bits, and, yeah, so we had a happy bit. Where we had a date with Yang. That was really nice. Um, because Yang is bae. And then we had to deal with, uh, yeah, the, the psycho girl who calls us her big brother. And pretty much turns out she's physically stronger than us and tried to force herself upon us. Which wasn't a nice situation. But it was a trap we walked into and I kind of was like, oh my god, I saw this coming. Like, I'm surprised it happened. Don't get me wrong. Like, surprised to see that. In a, it's always a surprise to see something like that in a game. And it makes sense. It makes sense she'd do something like that. And I don't know how Jin didn't see it coming when she walked into the bedroom. But yeah, if you, if you don't know really what I'm talking about, last episodes are all there on the channel. But yeah, so hopefully we're moving into happier territory. I say that. It's, only, it's probably going to get worse. It's probably like We're building such emotions with the team right now. Like we're, get, we're connecting with them in different ways. We've got two girlfriends, which is just lovely. And yeah, there's totally going to be so many bad things happening later this game. I can just, I can feel it in my bones. But right, anyway, let's let's just forget about it now. Let's just, let's be optimistic. And think good things are going to happen. Because, you know, totally, totally good things are going to happen. <laughs> so one girl's coming to kidnap. is I, That's probably going to be this Sunday. But, right, uh, let's just continue on. So I think we're, we're... What day are we on? I think we're on Monday or... No, we're on Tuesday. We're on Tuesday. I played through Monday. So Tuesday, let's just go through our classes. Let's see how, what happens. Uh, we don't have any more Yang stuff to do. So we need to move on to doing stuff with a different girl. I don't really know who I'm going to go with yet. But we'll see when we get there. We have historical knowledge increased by five. Stuff happening. Nothing's happening. Da da da. Right. Um. As things stand right now, we currently have dates waiting for Neon, who wants us to go out and talk smack all over the place. Emerald, we can meet up with already. Um. Weiss, we still get that. <laughs> Weiss has been waiting for us forever. I get the thing of Ruby. Blake and Pira, like Pira's got another. Like Pira, we've already done one with, and Blake we haven't done anything with. So. Going by that knowledge, I think we should go to the gym. And <laughs> Let's see, what can I read today? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm guessing there's no other stuff floating about here. J just to be certain. Now, let's just have another little look-see. About just to see. Ah, uh, nope. Actually, there's a thought. Hold on. Let me let me just check something quickly. What am I certain? My social skills. Cooking's at 25. Should we do our cooking? Now I think about it. Actually, what are my battle skills at? Actually, I don't need to worry about battle skills because I can go to the gym at night. Let's go to the missile. Let's do some cooking because people were saying that's tied to Nora's thing. And I'd like to actually try to see a bit of Nora's thing. So, like, yeah, let's go do some cooking. Hey, new guy. Da -da. Hey, some girl loves the smell of cinnamon. Here's your pain, new guy. Da -da. Cooking's up to 30. Huzzah. I don't know where we need to get cooking to. But, you know. Oh, God. Oh, da -da -da -da. What are you saying, new guy? Da -da. Swear to the gods. It doesn't take much, really. You just need to gasp. In the name of all that's good and holy, what the hell was that? So we just did our casual cooking thing. I didn't know we were this close. I, I genuinely did not know we were this close. <laughs> I thought we'd have to get cooking up to maybe like 50 or something. No, it's 30 apparently. Uh, we just did our usual cooking thing. Oh, some girls love the, the smell of cinnamon. La, da, da. Now Nora's apparently... Well, Nora's appeared. Nora? Nora, what the hell is something... You... You know the secret. Right. Just for a minute, try and imagine that I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, the secret of food. <laughs> the secret of the food of the gods. And they were pretty yummy too. Wait a minute. 
Are you talking about pancakes? Of course I'm talking about pancakes. She was just one of the... Uh, so she was the one with the special order. He eats pancakes all, all uh, at this time of day. Hold on, like, let's let's scroll back a bit here. You get here for more work? Well, you ain't that charming a personality, so... And now I need a shower for the spice of smell. Here's some cinnamon, da da da. Thanks, my name's Jen. Where are you saying, you guy? Great job on those pancakes, by the way. You sure that was your first time making... Ah, the wall's a bit of extra tech that I just missed. Swear to the gods. Uh, yeah, okay, so I, I literally... I, I, was, I was one lane away. <laughs> I skipped by one lane. It makes more sense now. Nora, you do realise that pancakes are a breakfast food? I know. But it didn't make me... Uh, didn't make me... Or let me eat any today. I had to sneak out. Who's Ren? One of your teammates... Okay, I feel like we're supposed to do this a long, long time ago. <laughs> we have we met Ren? I swear we have, right? Maybe. Actually, racking my brains now. I don't think we've actually properly, fully been introduced to Ren, have we? Because like I know Evelyn and that's hung about with them, and Penny and that's hung about with them or spoke to them. I think Evelyn has. I know Penny hats. Penny was observing next to them. Now, we've seen plenty of interactions with John with them, when John's been talking about me. But we might not have met Ren, actually. Oh? Is this how we get in with Ren? Oh, my God. <laughs> my partner and bestie. Also ma uh, maker of delicious, fluffy goodness. But what Ren giveth, Ren taketh away to. In other words, he's been a reasonable partner and trying to vary it up. Uh, very, very, yeah, very, very at your breakfast. Oh, Lord, you sound just like him for a moment there. I snort in laughter and shake my head from side to side. She's pretty fun. But you, uh, you wouldn't like him all the time. But you won't be like him all the time, right? I only got one, Ren. Nah, I like being me. Good. So, um, not Ren. I was wondering if... You want me to make you pancakes? And call me Jen, please. We already introduced each other. We've already introduced each other. Yeah. I don't think I should, though. I mean, I don't know Rain, but I don't think I should overstep my boundaries. Oh, no. That's not what I meant. No. No. It's time uh, It's time I break off the shackles of <laughs> oppression and take matters into my own hands. No longer being dependent on others for sustaining myself. She wants to teach her. The cook doesn't she? She wants to learn how to make pancakes. See, the fact Nora can't make pancakes on her own already probably indicates that this isn't a good idea. So, you want me to teach you how to make pancakes? Pretty please with a Nora on top? Isn't that a cherry on top? But a Nora is so much more delicious than a cherry. Oh, so many people are going to take that the wrong way, Nora. I roll my eyes and sigh. I'll trust you on that. Well, if it's teaching you to cook, I can do that. After all, that's still something that she'd have to do on... Oh, did have to do in her room, so Ren can control her still. Not everyone has a kitchen in the room, Jin. That's great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We should probably do it on one of the days when we have no class. That's another date set up for Saturday then. <laughs> also, when the kitchen in my apartment is free. Let's exchange scroll numbers. Yay! Another scroll number that's not a very questionable person. Da da. Could we consider Nora questionable? Ugh. Right, any stuff going about? I don't think there is. Actually, just to check his... Hey, Jen. He... Yeah, okay, that's just the usual thing. That doesn't matter. We're not, we're not doing that. Osborne, can we speak to you? No, no, we can't. I, I'm guessing there's just one time. Like, we've already been to Osborne's tower once. But, like, I'm guessing there's one, like, going to be one other time we have to go there. It's going to be something, like, super important. Like, when crap literally just hits the fan. Duh. Just to ask, by the way, is there any kind of quest things related to the dust shop? Because I don't know if there is. Like, obviously, I've not been there in a while, but is there anything related to it? Can I just quickly... Welcome part-timer. Yeah, okay, there's nothing there right this second, at least. Unless it goes after. I don't know. Just if it, Can anyone tell me, is there actually an event uh, linked to that? Because I, I don't know if there is. It, to me, I think it's just a thing there money, but I don't know. I do not know. My aura's lit up by one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I'm beat. I'm the barst. Why? What did I do today? Told you. You're not going anywhere alone for... Ah, okay. 
She was with me everywhere, wasn't she? I thought it was limited to outside of the school. Do you honestly think it makes any difference? Good point. I mean, Howard was in the school. Would make sense. I mean, we know what they look like now. Well, we know what most of them look like now. Deb's in the shower, unless you'd like to join me. <laughs> Jen, please say yes. I'm tired enough to take her up on that and see what her reaction is like. Do it! Make her, make her all flustered. Come on. It's time to get her own back on her. I trust Evelyn stayed out of sight. Oh, God. Oh, Penny's here. Penny can join too. It'll be fine. Well, of course that's not the case, though, is it? <laughs> oh, I just think it'd be funny, actually. Like, obviously they wouldn't actually, well. Yeah, they probably wouldn't go through with it, but it would be funny if June did just say yes to that. Damn it. Oh, well, missed opportunity. Maybe we'll get another one. Mostly. How was your day, Penny? Fruitful. I was about to read through some of Dela's diary before bedtime. Not that Penny actually sleeps, but you know. Try to stay up too late reading it. We have not, we, we still have no idea. We don't realise Penny's just always awake. She's just that good at this. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be sure to rest up. Unlike your partner. Hmm. You're lucky I'm dead tired. I would be having a word, uh, be having words right now. Lol. Well, I think I'm going to take Evelyn up on the offer. The shower offer. Good night, Penny. Uh, um, have fun. Penny, are you holding yourself back? Huh? Sorry, I just realised. Maybe I was being insensitive speaking like that. Since we've never... That, that says, no, it's fine. But the thing is, you're never... I mean, I'm the guy, so maybe I should be the one to take the initiative. You've never... Uh, you've never requested or initiated anything past hugs and that one kiss. And that one time she dressed up really sexy for you and lay beside you in bed just to get your heart going a little bit quicker. Among other things. So I was wondering if you were holding yourself back to give... No, 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 no. I'm reading that line. To give Evelyn space. Or... I was making you feel uncared for. No, Jen, it's it's not that. It's just, uh, this is quite embarrassing. It's just, I'm not ready yet. I need to prepare. There's nothing wrong with that. Not everyone's mentally prepared for these types of things to put relationships on the unique levels. I don't want to pressure you or anything, of course. I just, you feel like you're not giving me enough attention. I understand. But be assured that's not the case. If you say so. I think I should start giving you a good night kiss every night. Just to be safe. <laughs> Smooth. I, um, okay. Ha ha ha, you're so cute. I like it when you call me cute. Like the day we met. Hmm. Get a room. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Jack. Your day will come. Huh? But we already have one. Hmm. Teenagers. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The day we met, maybe... What? Penny was on to something. I don't know what it is, though. I wish we'd just heard Evelyn's reaction to us appearing, but then again, knowing Evelyn, she was probably okay with it. God damn it. I was waiting for a moment of surprise, but I guess we never got that. And he did actually take his up on it. This, this cannot be. This is still purely theoretical. Not even Fuller. What? I need to contact Fuller. Oh. The penny plot has continued. I was kind of like just... Yeah, I need to get to class. Fine, fine. We'll go to class. Ooh, combat class. That's enough. Mr. Jacobagus is in the... Jen, can you win one of these one day? Come on, we've been training at the gym with Sun. That's not enough, is it? We did all that training with Yang. That's still not enough, is it? Aura is in the red. Damn it. Who was beating me up this time? Oh, it was Blake. I must say, though, I didn't expect Miss Belladonna's aura to dip so much into the yellow against you. That's the decavagus. I mean, yeah, Blake's quite strong, so... Oh? The right, I hadn't noticed. And that's a good thing. You don't know how many students make it a habit of looking at the screen or the scrolls instead of focus on the battle. I mean, okay, it makes sense when you're moving, like, you've got a moment's notice, but, like, constantly checking screen, that's probably a bad idea. And you've got, like, someone, say, really fast, like Blake on the other side. 
Sure, I keep talking like that. Now, uh, like I'm not here. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Blake. I should probably go read books with other makeup to it. Make up for it. I'll be. Finally got past the mental, that mental block. What mental block, partner? Well, this is the first time I've ever seen you be aggressive during a spar. And outside of the moments where you've been pushed into a corner. Well, I didn't blow up this time, so that's something. That's pretty much whenever I get aggressive, I grab as much dust as I can and ignite it. God damn it, Jin. Aggressiveness. I guess what happened with Bella shook you up, huh? Yeah. I realize that people aren't just going to play, uh, aren't just going to play nice or wait for me to get stronger. But it's not like I, uh, don't, uh, didn't want to get stronger before, no? Yeah, but there's a big difference between wanting to get stronger for your friends and because your survival depends on it. Oh, that's important, isn't it? I think that's a hint I should be working out more. And that change in mindset also brought on some much needed aggressiveness, uh, aggressive, aggressivity in your fighting still. Aggressivity? I, okay. Da -da. I'm not exactly happy about that, but I guess it is necessary. Moving on, lunch. Did Penny and Evelyn go ahead? Just Evelyn, actually. Penny headed out as soon as your fight was over. She did? Where to? To Vale. She said she needed to talk to her father. She needed some privacy. Ha, huh, I see. That's weird. She didn't have a problem in speaking with him on school grounds before. Did something change? Well, I mean, the sandwiches are no longer safe, so, you know. Your combat experience increased by five. I have a lot of that at this point. Dear, oh bloody dear. Oh. Hi, Penny. Ribby, you surprised me. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I was heading back for lunch after changing out my uniform. Saw you walking and... Where are you going, by the way? Um, Interville to the CCTS... I was about to say CCTV. CCTS Center. I need to speak to my father. Ooh, Penny's father. But you know, the area for the public uh, is currently closed. It opens later in the afternoon. It's alright. I got a special... Um, I mean, is it? What unexpected conundrum... <laughs> Well done, Penny. Huh, huh, huh. You checked the opening hours before deciding to skip lunch. Um, I guess. Hey, Penny, why don't we go to end? Oh, why don't we go to Vale together? Oh, this is probably gonna end badly, isn't it? Anytime we go into Vale, something seems to kick up. Together, we could have lunch together and then hang out uh, around until the CCTS opens. We've never done that, have we? Hang out, just the two of us. I, I'd like that. And there's no reason why I should refuse. Having time to lose, right? Right. A girl's day out it is. I mean, there's a lot of our girls, or maybe you can defend them. I suppose like, girls' friends hanging out, cool. Also, ah, I can't help it. I have to ask about that. Okay, what did Ruby see? Um, I do remember there was a time where Ruby saw something. He's like, oh, I heard or saw something I shouldn't have. But I don't remember what it was. Because it was that long ago. Because there's been so many other scenes since there's So much other important stuff kicking up. Okay. I'm sure they'll remind us. Dear, oh dear. I'm forgetting things now. It's been that. We've been playing the game that long. I'm now forgetting things. Right. Quick nosy about just to make sure there's nothing else going on. Da da. Da da da. Nothing at the bookstore now. Okay. Right. So we've already got our date with Norris up. Or cooking date with Nora. Or cooking with Nora. That'll be fun. Um, There's nothing in the library. Let's see. No, we don't need to read about the opals anymore. Uh, I could try Blake. But, like, literally the game is even telling me I need to train. So, training it is. Son, we're going to be hanging out a lot more, bud. You have no idea. Sorry to keep you waiting, Ruby. Did I miss anything? I did not. Oh, it's all right. I counted clouds. <laughs> You're amazing, Ruby. Never change. You did? For two minutes. So boring. <laughs> then I started playing a game on my scroll. That makes more sense. Did you manage to talk to your father in peace? Yes. But we will speak to each other uh, 
more pr uh, pretty soon, face to face. What? You mean your father is coming to Bikin? Yes, I've missed him so much. Oh. Was it a programmed visit? Yes, but I it got anti. Yeah, into into yeah, but it got into set. What? Okay, there's a couple of things I desperately need his counsel on. And um, one of them is best not to talk about over the network. Ooh, I mean, I don't really get it, but I understand. Um, speaking of things I don't understand. Hey, Penny. Yes. It's about Jen. I was coming. No, 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 the stuff happening. Stop. Um, I was going to check. I was coming to check on him after. Ruby, look out. Oh. Is this the car scene? Is this the bit with the hands? Oh. No, did I just say I'm going to have to do like, like a good night kiss with, uh, with Penny? Every night, and then she's not going to be here tonight. Is that literally what's about to happen? Okay, so stuff happened. Oh, dear. It does sound like it was just a car thing, though. Unless one girl was the one driving the bloody car, which I could see happening because she's a bitch about it. Dull. All right. All right. Dust Knowledge 88. I don't know if Dust Knowledge is actually, like, linked to anyone. Like, I assume Weiss. But, like, you know. I haven't done any stuff with Weiss. I'm not really sure. Actually, hold on. If I need to get... Yes, I assume I need to get my intuition up with Blake up to 30 if I want to get the first date with her. I assume that's what I need to do. Now, we're going to the gym. We need to work out and get stronger. Because, you know, apparently that's... Uh, the game's implying we should get stronger, so... I probably should get stronger. I'm back. Have you... Oh my god, Jen, have you seen Penny? What do you mean, have I seen Penny? She's not back yet? No. She's so late and she's not answering her scroll. I'm so worried. It it can't. Maybe now they're targeting you girls because you're protecting me? You don't mean I'm going to Ville. Oh no, mister. We are. And no splitting up. <laughs> of course. I'm forced to agree. Let's call Jack and meet her at the Billhead's landing. Yeah, do, do, do. we're still in time for the last one to beacon. Last one, too. Be Is she talking about the return trip or whatever? Jack, please tell me you found her. No. I can't find her anywhere in Beacon. Damn it. Penny, where are you? I can't believe she's moved so... Uh, they'd moved so... Me that me need, uh, either. I can't believe they would, could get Penny so easily. So let's just hope we're wrong. Um... Huh? Wasn't that? Oh god, ripping you. Hmm. I wonder where they're going. Penny's going to worry if she doesn't... Oh. Penny's going to worry if she doesn't find anyone when she comes back. <laughs> but where is she? Oh, she's went to see... It... Is your student alright, James? Yes. She wasn't injured, but her medical situation created some complications. She's already recovering, though. Ah, so she's went to the, the, yeah, okay, this makes sense. So no wonder they can't find her because she's a little private bit getting, you know, her hands fixed and stuff. Assuming it's the whole car crash thing. Oh god, someone could have sent us a message. <laughs> Damn it. Osbin, this feels wrong. I know. It won't be the last time we, we do something that feels like so, something that feels like so, still. Yeah, I, I didn't read that wrong. I thought I'd read that wrong. I thought I'd missed a word out there. Still, this is less confident, uh, confidential way we have to uh, for locking down these students. Doll, I should go to Vale and apprehend them for breaking curfew then. Oh, Glinda has changed. She has, but she knows where. Oh, she knows where priorities lie. So now we've got Glenda chasing us. Oh, joy. Maybe someone around here saw her come in and go? If Penny came to Vale to talk in private to her father, she could have only gone to the network tower, assuming she reached it. Ah, hopefully Jack has more luck inside. Da-da-ba- No! 
Ah, hopefully Jack has more luck inside. It's so late and there's no one. Ah. Oh. Hold that thought. Excuse me, miss. Who? Who's this? Oh, what a nice young lady you are. But you don't need to flatter me. Oh! That symbol! It's someone related to John! Probably, our mo probably his mother. I'm fairly certain the creators get some kind of art thing going with her. Like, oh god, I forget what it's called. Like, there's a separate thing to do with her in things. Excuse me? You can call me ma'am. It's obvious I'm a married woman, no? Oh, uh, no? No, it isn't. Also, because I don't see a ring. Um, I guess. Time goes by, as they say. And after eight children, it's something natural for your age to show and beauty to give way to maturity. Say what? Eight? How old are you, ma'am? Ah, no time for this. Ma'am, we're looking for one uh, for our friends. Maybe you've seen her. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to delay you. It may be... Oh, uh, it may just so happen I've seen her. What does she look like? Red hair, shoulder length, and freckles. Where's most of the green? And a big pink ribbon. Oh my, I have seen her. She's one of the girls who got in a car accident earlier today. A car accident? <laughs> what car accident? What happened? I'm sorry. Are you with them as well? Yes, miss. Sorry to surprise you like that. What exactly do you know? Well, your friend wasn't alone. She was in the company of a girl with dark hair wearing a long red cloak. Ruby Rose! Anyway, a truck lost control and was about to run her over when your friend stopped it barehanded. Which, yeah, sounds amazing, doesn't it? I mean, we are hunters and huntresses, but, like, gen hunt huntresses don't really normally stop cars with their bare hands unless you're, like, Yang or Nora. Heh, <laughs> that's Penny, all right. Okay, we're not surprised by that. We just know, oh, yeah, actually, we know, we know where Penny's freakishly strong, considering she crushes our ribs every time she hugs us. But if that's all that happened, where is she now? I don't know about that. What happened next was really curious, though. Your friend Penny ran away towards that side street. She ran away? From Ruby? I wouldn't know. In the confusion, she dropped her scroll, though. Ah! This makes more sense. Why didn't Ruby send us a message? Damn it. I was planning on returning it to her on Saturday. But since you're a friend, I can trust you with it. Thank you so much, miss. You've been a great help, miss. I hope you find her soon. She seems quite upset, and I think she could really use such good friends as you. Well said, miss. After her! My such cute kids. And the earnest worry for uh they have for their friend. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, well something else going on with her then. I just don't know what. Damn it. There was no trace of Penny on this street. Only leads back to the main street. Maybe we can ask people in the bar? Penny. I wonder what upset her so much. Why would she run away from Ruby of all people? Yeah, that's Wait a minute. Didn't we run past Ruby at the billhead landing? <laughs> oh my god, we did! But she was alone. Freaking never mind that. Why didn't we call her immediately after talking with that girl? <laughs> hmm, Jen, it's so late. Ruby, I'm sorry for the error, but do you know where Penny is? Uh, probably in your room. Wait, why are you in Vale? You missed the last billhead. What do you mean in our room? Put her on speakerphone. Where else would she be? Ruby, we met someone who told us about the accident with the truck. Penny dropped her scroll and by the time we ran past you, she hadn't come back to our room yet. Uh, oh, I guess they hadn't finished yet. Treatment yet. Her treatment yet. What treatment? Um, nothing serious. It's just, um... After the thing that happened, another thing happened, and anyway, she called General Ironwood. Last I saw her, she was going with a couple of guys in Atlas Army, uh, Army uniform. General Ironwood? Then she was never lost or in danger? And you would have known that right away if you had bothered to ask. Hey, we panicked, okay? Considering, like, our current predicament, I think it's understandable we might jump to conclusions and not think straight. Damn it, Glinda. Not that we'll ever say that out loud to her. Professor Goodwitch. Uh-oh. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> instead, of, instead you went ahead and left the school. Breaking curfew. I hope you rise. this means you broke school rules. 
Worth it. Worth it for Penny. Well, yeah, but we're going to discuss this later. Specifically, we're going to discuss your punishment, especially considering your situation. Don't you think you acted a bit too recklessly, children? Okay, well, maybe knowing the situation, we probably shouldn't have just gone running off, but... It's not like you lot are helping us anyway. Oh, sorry, Miss Goodwitch. We were just so worried that we didn't think things through properly. Yeah, we... I can understand your reasons. You are worried about your teammate, but that's exactly why you should have come to me to, be to begin with. Ruby. Um, yes? When did you leave, Penny? Oh, it's a few minutes past ten. I remember because... No, no, no. I remember because I just missed uh, the second to last bullhead back to Beacon. I can't believe this. How could you... Partner? You're right. We should have, uh, we should have thought about our situation. We're the ones most aware of it, after all. Indeed. And that includes Penny. Mr. Cavagus, you're not in a situation where you can raise your voice at me. Oh, and right now I'm in the mood to raise much more than my voice at you. Your horse... <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? Miss Ivory. When Penny left with those soldiers, it was almost four hours ago. Penny would... Ha Penny would know how worried it would make us. Not hearing from her for so long. There's no way she wouldn't have noticed she lost her scroll. There's no way she wouldn't have asked Ironwood to at least tell us she was fine. And you, you purposely withhold, uh, withhold it from us. The catch is breaking the rules. Knowing full well going that you and Osbin would never cross our mind. Uh, knowing full, full well going to you and Osbin would never cross our minds. Considering how helpful you've been so far. Oh my god, we're turning this on her. Oh, this can only end one of two ways. Either we get away with this because she submits, or we get a very harsh punishment. Oh, that's that's preposterous. Preposterous, she says, Evelyn. With pleasure, Miss. It <laughs> She's doing the mad eyes again. Ah ah ah, Miss Goodwitch. She shouldn't lie to. Ah oh, crud! Kill your jets. We can't do it. We can't do. it. Why are we killing our jets? What? What? What do you mean? What did you see? Oh, she bang! I remember telling them about Penny. Osbin and Ironwood deciding to keep it from us. Osbin convincing Glinda to come get us. See the pattern yet? So it's Osbin's fault. She didn't want to do it. Nope. That that's hardly. Wait, why are you? Did he? Did he foresee this as well? Knowing him, he probably did. Played the four of us like a damn fiddle, he did. You, you're including me? I'm kind of glad, though. Yeah, me too. So glad. Sorry, Professor Goodwitch. What exactly is going on here? Miss Goodwitch, believe me, I know how, uh, uh, how it feels like dealing with the headmaster. It always seems like he knows what's best. But you're always thinking of your students first. Even when you're going along with uh, things that feel wrong. You rationalized it as protecting us. I could see it. Maybe I'm a bit disappointed. But you've been... Uh, but we've all been bamboozled by him. Before. Ah, oh, the blood rushed to my head. What was I thinking? You... What are you... You're a good teacher, Miss Goodwitch. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go to the bullhead landing. I bet you came here uh, with the school's private one. Ah, oh, I'm so mentally tired. I want to see my partner. Me too. I want a hug in the meantime. <laughs> Meanwhile, mm, my hero. Hey, don't leave me behind. Your leader commands a grip hug. We literally have just completely sidelined Professor Goodrich from this conversation. Like, punishment isn't even in talks anymore. It's like, oh, we just don't care anymore. She just lost control of that conversation. Would a good teacher lie and go behind the back of her students? You certainly don't make a good damsel in distress either. What? You? Hello, hello! How am I supposed to make a good entrance with no one to save, hmm? Hmm? Okay, well, we're right outside a bar, so this makes sense, but like... 
What? Crow's here? Huh? Crow, you're drunk. Always drunk. I mean more than usual. Why are you in Beacon? Aren't you supposed to be in recon uh, reconnaissance? And you're supposed to be the frigid headmistress. Frigid, yeah, frigid headmistress. But there you go, getting all emotional. You should have just whipped their asses. You know nothing, Brom uh, Bronman. I'm a teacher. <laughs> Crow is a teacher. Like, he is actually a teacher as well, which is terrifying, but like... Oh, God. I, I can't imagine that going very well. Who knows? Maybe he's a great teacher when he's sober. Whatever. You have the same elk as the headmaster. You've got a mentality, uh, mentality I will never uh, share fully. Always in the middle. Want these children to be soldiers, but also have a semblance of a normal life. And that's bad. If it's... Uh, it is if it's their survival depends on it. Glinda. Summer died. I know. If she died, with everything she had to come back to, most of those kids do not stand a chance of seeing old age. We don't ourselves. Oh, that's depressing. Thanks, Crow. I'll never agree with that, Crow. You've got to be optimistic because you're a teacher before a huntress. You still haven't explained what you're doing here. Yeah, too tired for that right now. But I'm following a trail. You think bad guys don't come to Bill? It's a fair reason. Osmo want to know you're in town. No, oh, da, da, I accidentally skipped backwards and I rolled the mist. I know, but I, uh, but I bet he already knows. Well, good night. Yes, Osmond sure knows a lot, doesn't he? Oh, we're digging in Osmond here. Krill's made an appearance. Penny's thing's been revealed to Ruby in a different... Well, the same fashion, but possibly around a different time because, you know, she's not doing the same stuff as usual. But she, Ruby still had to get the reveal anyway. Oh. Oh, da, da. The story is picking up. Stuff is happening. I mean, stuff's happening every episode at this point. You're back. <clears throat> Goodness, you went looking for me? Yeah, but we can talk about it tomorrow. We're just glad you're okay. Also, the three of us are confined to Beacon for the immediate future, which I guess could be a good thing. I mean, is there any reason for us to go to Vale? Wait, hold on. I have a job there. I don't I haven't went to my job in weeks, but still. And I like to go check about it night and see if there's anything going on. But, but I, I don't understand. It's okay, Penny. Moving on, fearless leader. Should we get to your commands? <laughs> Great idea, partner. I think it's the only way we can end this night. I'm in complete agreement. On the count of three, Penny has no idea what's going on. Beautiful. Um, what are you? Three? Da! Ah, oh, guys. <laughs> Yay! Lovely moment. Ah, ha, ha. For once, Penny is the target. I know, right? Feel the full weight of our love. This, this is what I do to people. <laughs> Not the collar. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Just watch your hands, partner. Eh? It's not me. Not that. I, not that I don't. I mean, you've got a nice. What? Then who? Carrots. <laughs> oh. This is like the best team. The best team. Good morning, Jen. Da da. You know what? You know what? I think with that, I think that's a good place to end off. And a nice happy note. A nice happy high note there. We end it off here. So, Penny went missing, but it wasn't really missing. She just got her hands and stuff slightly damaged. Ruby knows the truth about her and all that jazz. Her father will be coming to Beacon. Crow's in town. So, I don't know if that will play into things. I hope it does. That'd be fun. I mean, it's part of the main plot, so it probably will. But, da da. Um, we're now not allowed to go out to Beacon. Or, sorry, to Vale. I don't know if that will actually mean something. But, like, yeah, I've got dates to make this weekend. So, like, if you're keeping me in in, in uh, Beacon, not Vale, um, not allowed to go to Vale for the weekend, I'm going to be very sad. Cause that, that's a very saddening thing. Well, I can just date Nora then, because, like, Nora's just cooking. But still, I want to go do the other ones, maybe. I don't know yet. Duh, I need to think about it. 
But right, anyway people, leave a like if you enjoyed the show. A link should be in the description down below to the game uh, to download and its page and stuff. So go check that out if you want to have a shot of the game yourself. It's free to play and I would recommend it. It's a lot of fun, as you can tell, that we're three parts into the series. And yeah, I've got no, there's no cinema slowing down at this current rate. I just want to point out right now that this is episode 3 I'm recording. Episode 26 just came out, like, a, a little bit ago when I'm recording this. Uh, episode 27 is uh, ready to go out. Then I recorded the two episodes, like, that episode I did, early, like, the previous two episodes, 28 uh, and 29. They were obviously recording the one session, so I split in half. I recorded that just earlier today. But then I just got motivated to go and do more. Like, I just, I'm really enjoying playing this game. I end up playing loads of it. So, that that's the thing, by the way. Um, For comments and stuff, obviously I'm quite a few episodes ahead because I've been, like, binge playing and recording this game at bits. So, um, yeah, some of them I might not see, and if you do leave me bets, I might not notice them for a few episodes, but if, I, I do look at the comments, I do see them and stuff, so if he's giving me information, assuming I still can act on it, I'll probably still act on it, as long as it's not spoilers. Da -da. But right, anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all next time for my Ruby Visual Novel. Goodbye, everybody.